Just stare at the camera. Just two dashingly handsome dudes, huh? Huh? It is wrestling. Barstool's professional wrestling podcast with me, Brandon Walker, and absolute Ricky Starks. One of the stars of all elite wrestling. A lot of stars of all elite wrestling, but this guy, this guy's got something. He got something. I see something in you, Ricky Starks. Yeah? Yeah, I do. What? Have no idea. <laughs> Can't quantify it at all. And that's usually how it works, ladies and gentlemen. It's the intangibles. Any, any grown man that can walk into a room wearing a leather shirt and not look ridiculous is, is, has got something. And I don't know where it is. <laughs> you wear a leather shirt often? Uh, I usually wear no shirt. Does that get hot? I mean, I'm in it, yeah, so for sure. Okay, relax. What is this? Uh, this is, this is a $150 hoodie. Is that Tommy Bahamas? You think because I'm old and white I wear Tommy Bahamas? <laughs> I feel like that's profiling. It is it. It just looks like a very <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Bahama Tommy color. Tommy Bahama doesn't make hoodies. They make like flowery they shirts. They do make hoodies, they actually. Make hoodies? Yeah, and they have a restaurant in Vegas. Yeah, I bet that's terrible. It is. I went there for Mother's Imagine Day. Imagine going to Vegas and eating at Tommy Bahamas? I went there for my mom's uh, you celebration. Your blessed sainted, she wanted to go. Mother to she Tommy. wanted to go. And who am I to deny her? I took, you know where I took my mom for Mother's Day? Where? Hooters. She was working there at the time. <laughs> That's a, you know what? <laughs> I write that down. <laughs> write down Hooters. Of course, I, I never have to remind myself. Funny guy. Anyway, uh, Ricky, you, you haven't wrestled that much in 2021. No. You, you last wrestled on Dynamite in July. Yes. Uh, you last wrestled on Rampage in October. Right. When do fans, AEW fans, get to see Ricky Starks unleashed again? That, I mean, that's not a, I, I don't think that's a question for me. The thing is, so back in uh, April, I had fractured my neck. Right. And, and I had fractured my neck on Dynamite, and I was out for like three months. Right. Then I came back and had the match in July in Austin, where right. I won the FTW title. Sure. And since then, You've I've been. You've been Brian Cage in that match. Yes, yeah. exactly. And I've been on and off in terms of like having matches and whatnot. I've been cleared. Right. Since July. Uh, the only thing I can think of is uh, AEW and Tony Khan specifically, they just taking things slow. Right. So I look at it as a, a blessing, but then, you know, you have the other part where I do get antsy and I want to be in there. I want to be wrestling all the time, but. In 1998. Great Stone, year. 1997, excuse me. Stone Cold Steve Austin hurt his neck and then he was technically out of action for three months, but he was still he, he he kept he was st he's still over he right. stayed over not to the level of stone cold steve austin because that's the greatest of all that's the biggest but ricky starks this year you got you got hurt mm -hmm. and you stayed over you stayed exactly where you were and even went a little further just on based on uh your updates and and you know everything yeah. you were doing how'd you do that i think it was through obviously i love to talk i mean if that isn't evident i love to talk so I think what Tony did was he saw that as an opportunity to parlay that into like still being on TV, right. uh, but more in a, a managerial role per se. Right. And then I got on Rampage in commentary. I was doing yeah. commentary on Dark, yeah. and that's like, I want you to understand the level of trust somebody has to give you to go on national TV right, yeah. with sponsors and everything and say, right. hey, I need you to be a commentator. Yeah, I need you to Rampage. be the voice of this show. Exactly. So that is not lost on me. I think that was his plan in, in, in keeping me around and, yeah. and more relevant, especially yeah. uh, since some people can't talk. And then if, those can't, if they can't talk, they get injured, and then what? But there is something uh, special in professional wrestling about a guy who is maybe out injured and you know he can't wrestle right now and he's still talking shit. That's so awesome. Yeah. Just imagine going to a fight and knowing you can't participate and being like, <laughs> Yeah, you can't touch me. My There's neck. nothing you can do. My neck, brother. There's Come on. You're really going to hurt me? Um, you did. You, and when you came back, you wrestled yes. Brian Cage. You guys used to be cohorts in Team Taz. Yeah. You wrestled him. You, you won the FTW title, which you still hold today. Of course. Notice you did not bring that to the interview. Are you kidding me? It's over there. Yeah. Can I hold it later? Yeah. Do I get to touch it? Or so there's the FTW uh, title that you won. The off original. Of, this is the original. This is from the ECW, original. From Taz yes. is run. Well, that's, that's actually pretty awesome. Yeah. It's pretty fun. This is awesome. the original title. So um, you won it off Brian Cage. Right. Do you think it was wise in hindsight, uh, you and Brian Cage having a falling out because you know he was considerable muscle that could have been backing you up? Honestly, I don't care about someone's size. I really don't. I don't know if you saw the match, but I power I bombed him. I, no, I saw the match. I'm very strong. 
This is after a broken you're as, freaking you're, you're, neck. You're not as okay, Kurt. Uh, you're not as you're not as strong as uh, as Brian Cage. How do you know that? I don't. I literally you, lifted I, him I, I don't for know a power bomb. Well, he lifted you too. How much do you think I weigh? Two twenty. Really? Wow. How much do you weigh? Two sixty five. Two sixty. I got you. Know. How tall are you? Six five. Fuck. I'm grown ass. You man. must have played basketball when you were. Well. I must have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <At> golf, huh? <laughs> no, no, that's, again, that's profile. I'm from, you're from Texas, right? No! I thought you were from Texas. Eddie put you up to this. I'm not from Texas. I stay in. Eddie who? Eddie Kingston. I haven't, I've never talked to Eddie Kingston. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Eddie knows everybody. I'm not from Texas. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Do I live in Austin, Texas right now? For sure. But I don't hold that against you. I'm from uh, Mississippi. It's beautiful down there. Actually, you're from New Orleans. That's not far. Yeah, it's not. I, I used like, to go to Biloxi like all the time. Yeah, that's Mississippi's pimple, New Orleans. Um, hmm? Hmm? You are? Yeah. Okay. There's cool. a draft in here. Is it cold or is it cold? No, it's just a draft. Okay. All right. Well, I don't want those nipples poking through that leather shirt. Um, stroke Daddy. What? Yes, sir. Stroke Daddy. Stroke Daddy. That was a one great of your nickname. Old, 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 it is a good nickname. I mean, I still I get called that from time to time. Stroke Daddy. Yeah. Uh, in, in wrestling terms, or? I mean, in both. Okay. Real right. life and wrestling. Uh, how intimidated are you by Hook's hair? Dude, it's uh, it's things, majestic. You, the thing's got a life of its own. Every time I see him, it's like it's getting bigger and bigger. One, I honestly think one day, if you've ever seen Little Shop of Horrors, it's just going to have a mouth and it's like, feed me, Seymour, feed me. That was an incredible impression. <laughs> maybe maybe oh. Rick Moranis shows up. He was in. Little shop I know. You know what else? He was, was also in, in Honey, I Shrunk, I Shrunk the Kids. Kids. Yes, Honey, I Shrunk the fucking Kids. Yeah, dude, we're great. <sighs> what a great movie that was, and it, nobody talks about it anymore. Can we it's, talk it's about one of those forgotten movies? There's three series. Well, there's Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Right. That one didn't, and then there's Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Yes, where the the, the parents. But by then it was the magic. No one song. cared. Yeah. yeah. Are you a Home Alone or a Home Alone Two guy? I'm a. Are you a Christmas Vacation guy? I am a Home Alone. Wait, Home Alone is the one with the pigeon lady, right? That's Home Alone 2. I like that one. The one in New York. Yeah. It's something about New York and Christmas that just goes together. We're in New York. Yeah. It's Christmas. Not yet. You want to go see the tree? I would love to. I don't think we got time. I think you got to be at the arena. Mm, they can wait. Actually, tonight is going to be a great night. How, how so? Because tonight is actually when I enter myself into the diamond, dynamite diamond battle royal, and it's a huge fat ring that I'm gonna wear. I know that you didn't flip me off, but for, for a second, I, I, like I there was, did you see there was just a little bit of man in there? It was like, no, don't do that. A hesitation. Uh, hypothetically speaking, if I did flick you off, what would happen? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> not, not, not a thing. I would probably, I, here's what I would do. Yeah. I would, I would uh, bluster up a little bit, and I'm like, you can't do that to me, and then I would go home and cry to my wife. Why, why write that down? I don't know why you write that down. How do you know my wife's name? That's ridiculous. I know a lot of wives' names. Hmm? I'm, I get along with a lot of people. Do you? Yes. Uh, I love, the parents love me typically when they meet me. Do you? Um, they, I've had parents call me Stroke Daddy. Really? Yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, I'm good at golf. I have a very good stroke at golf. That's why I'm called that. Uh, people call me Stroke Daddy, cause it's, but it's because I got high cholesterol. <laughs> I'm on the stroke list. Like they, oh. If my eye ever starts twitching, they're like, Stroke Daddy! I don't mean to laugh at that, but I, I'm worried about you. Are you? Yes. What's my name? Brandon. What's my last name? Walker. Fuck, you didn't know. Okay. All right. Do you think this is going well? I, I, I think it is because I'm on it and we're great. Um, Team Taz, companies? how's that working out for you? Team Taz. Will you have the, uh, can I hold it up? Yes. All right. It's heavy, a, huh? Always ask a wrestler permission to hold up his belt. Yeah, don't touch it without right doing it. Right there. Team Taz, how's that working out for you? It's great. We just actually recruited Dante Martin. I'm going to ask about him in a second. And yes. Leo Rush is pissed off about it. I mean, I don't have no issue about that. Not my problem. You and Leo Rush aren't going aren't gonna to have to settle this at some point? Uh, sure, but here's the thing. As, as Leo likes to say, Ricky, Ricky. It's not an issue. To me, it's not an issue. because I think that was just Lucy. Lucy? From Lucy, Lucy. Yeah, I think that's just Ball? Ricky. Didn't she? What's she married to Ricky? Yeah, they were really married. Who are the most famous Rickies? Ricky Ricardo. Sure. Ricky Martin. Yeah. Ricky Montoya. Ricky Bobby. 
Ricky Bobby. Uh huh. Ricky Starks. Damn! Why are you killing my punchline? I should have put myself first. Wrestling with Brandon Walker. I get the punchlines around here, buddy. But if you want them, you can have them. Yeah, that's your name. You wrote Absolute Starks. Uh, side note, Brandon F. Walker. What does the F stand for? Forensic? Feliz Navidad? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I figured. I figured it was that. That's good. Brandon fucking Walker. Okay. All right. Where oh, are we you at? meant it like that. Huh? I, I didn't know you meant that no, no, no. like that. Yeah. Like yours had double meaning? Yes. Mine does too. A little bit shorter, but sure. Oh, it's very short. Um, so, uh, where are we at? What's Dante Martin's ceiling? There is none. That guy's a freak. I, I, he defies the laws of gravity. Yeah. It's very weird. I've never seen someone have so much hops. Where does it come from? Like, ligaments have to be, my ligaments are shredded. Well, you've been wrestling for a long time. Yeah. He's, what, 19, 20 years old? He's very young. Okay, thanks. I wasn't a... It just felt like a little dig at me, was that's it? all. No, I... Uh, just comparing age. You've just, earned, like, you've earned your torn ligament. You've been wrestling for a long I time. I have no torn ligaments. The only injury I ever had in my entire career was that neck injury. And it's good to go now? You're good? Yeah. I went and took calcium pills. And that's what fixed it? That's something. <laughs> and not wrestling, I obviously. I don't know that you went to a doctor. I'm just built different, actually. I really am. A lot of, there's not like, uh, I think I'm from a different part of the planet. Explain. Where are you from like? Um, probably from Russia. That's where a lot of the super athletes are built. You're a, Ivan Drago. Essentially, but way more handsome. Would you ever like train in the, in the Siberian snow like Rocky did? Yeah. That would suck. You know, let me tell you this. I do cryotherapy. I sit in you ice baths. Oh. I cry. Okay, all right. This, I, I cry. Okay. I but cry cryotherapy about, is water? It's, it's a negative degree nitrogen uh, chamber, basically. Is that just a degree that insults you the whole time? Yeah. Just real negative? But I mean, You'll if you want that, you might as well just get a wife to do that. <laughs> high five. That's our third high five. Another one. We're on a roll. Uh, you once arrested Roman Reigns. <laughs> 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 you once arrested Roman Reigns. Did... did did he have it coming? Did he deserve that? Yes. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, that's funny you bring that up because when I, when I showed up to work that day, yeah. uh, they said you're going to be, you know, they didn't say you're going to be a cop and they right. didn't say you're going to be a sheriff. It's, they, they called it something else and I can't remember SWAT. exactly. No, it wasn't SWAT. It was like these guys that sit in the office and then when something cool happens, they like put on a vest. You were a security guard? A, a fake one, basically. A, a low rent security. You were security. Paul Blart mall cop. No, I wasn't. No. I was more of like, if there's a drug bus in town, I'm going to show up late after SWAT already showed up. Oh, you're... I don't know who that is. You're the cop that does the press conference. Yes, I'm that guy. Yeah. So I went there, showed up, talked to Roman. Everything was cool. He had to put these cuffs on, and they were really tight. And he goes, hey, man, I can't do anything when I got my hands cuffed, so sorry ahead of time. And man, I went to grab him like that to right. come out of the ring. And he went, whoa! I said, oh, okay. Get in the corner and he starts stomping the shit out of me. But he was a really great guy because afterwards he apologized a lot. Well, that's really nice. Yeah. That's really I said, nice. hey, it's all cool. Charge to the game. I had an interaction with him at MSG. He looked dead at me. I was sitting front row because, you know. Yeah. Um, and, it, and I said, Roman, you should be wearing socks with those shoes. And he looked at me and said, you're old. And it hurt my feelings so much. My daughter like, went and sat with somebody else. Oh, no, she was there. Yeah, the daddy got emasculated. And she saw that. Yeah, she saw that. How, how would, would you ever you? emasculate somebody in front of their kid? Probably, yeah. yeah you would. Depends on it. They deserved it. Nine times out of ten, they deserve it. Um, here's a, here's the, I know you've got a lot of favorites. I've done some research, and I want you to be impressed with my research. A couple of your favorites growing up were Undertaker and Shinjiro Otani. <laughs> Yeah, what Those the are hell? Those two of your favorites? Yeah, dude. That's a that's a that's a mix. I know. That's great. How how do you arrive at that? I don't. So growing up, I in this order, I like Undertaker, Mankind, and The Rock. Right. Then once I got exposed to a little bit more of uh, wrestling in terms of like international, yeah. Then Otani like jumped right. into the fray. 
I really don't know why I like them too. Taker is like, you would look at me and you would be like, ah, right. you're more of a rock fan. The rock probably. makes sense, yeah. Sure, I get it. But Undertaker is the man. And I can't tell you why. Something about him is just so cool. Well, you can tell me. We're friends. I actually trained with Undertaker for his match against John Cena Did in you? WrestleMania in New I, Orleans. I, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, it was the most craziest thing I ever that experienced. That match lasted a minute and a half. It lasted five minutes, okay. but he was training for more like 20 minutes. But, you know, the show gets cut. Uh, it happened. Uh, but, yeah, Otani is another guy who is so, if you watched him, you'd be like, I get why. So uh, I'm, I'm the exact same way. That's why I brought it up because I was actually, I grew up, I'm older than you, a little bit. Not much. Yeah, not much. A year maybe. Hmm? I was driving when you were born. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right. Um what were you we talking about? So who's your two favorites that Thank are so you very polar much. opposites? I was a big Macho Man Randy Savage guy growing up. Loved okay. Him, loved him, loved him. Uh, and then, 97, 98, huge rock guy. That's my two favorites of all time. And you wouldn't think I would be a rock guy because, you know, look at me, I'm not a rock guy. But, 2007, 2008, I buy the Best of Starcade DVD, and I'm watching 1995 Starcade, Eddie Guerrero against Shinjiro Otani. <laughs> wow, like, hell yeah. And I watched that match. I'd never seen Otani. I didn't get much into J Japanese wrestling at, at that point. I'd never seen him, and I'm like, I love this guy. Yeah. I fucking love this guy. He was 24 years old at the time, and we had just gotten YouTube, really, at that point. And I just went down a YouTube rabbit hole, and I, was, I became an Otani fan. Dude. Really, probably, probably the only Japanese wrestler I would say I'm a fan of today. Because I, I still haven't gotten into it. I mean, Okada's great. There's some great guys. Right. But Otani was my, like, I got into it. What's, what are you doing? Double high five? Fuck I've yeah. never met someone else who is uh, an Otani fan. An Otani head? Yeah. That's that's crazy to me that you brought that There's up. There's other Otani guys. I mean, the baseball player, for sure. But Otani the wrestler? Shinjiro Otani the wrestler? You think Shinjiro Otani can, can throw uh, and, and hit home runs? No, I wouldn't. As a wrestler, you shouldn't do any other sport. Did Once you, you get into you wrestling. you play baseball? I never. You want to hear something funny? Sure. Why wouldn't I? Who would, who would ever say, I don't want to hear something funny? I've met some people. They're assholes. Uh, Eddie Kingston didn't want to hear anything funny. There you go. You answer your question. Yeah. I've actually never played sports in my entire life. Sports? I've only watched wrestling. You never played football? No. Nope. Never played soccer? No. Nope. Never played baseball? I played kickball. I was a kickball champion in fifth grade at my school, my middle school. Were you better at defense or were you just a great kicker? I could kick and I could run. Good and run. I, I had a mean sideways run. Like oh, when so I you ran. Were, you were a menace on the base pass. Yeah. I ran like that. Yeah, dude. No one could touch me. I mean, I did get out sometimes, but for the most part. <laughs> I never, I never, between second and seventh grade, I never got out. Never once. I didn't come out until college. In kickball? Yeah. <laughs> really? I never got out. That's the only sport you played? No, no. I played basketball. Baseball. Ba Look at me. I played basketball. I called it earlier. Yeah, well, sometimes I lie. You did track, huh? Huh? You did track? They tried to make me do triple jump. I couldn't get the rhythm down. I looked I like a giraffe that. on roller skates. It I was not pretty. That. Um... Where are we at? So, what are what? What about people that say turtlenecks are bad fashion? Where are we at? People who say turtlenecks are bad. You didn't write anything. You just underlined the last thing you wrote. No, I I, I underlined that before. So what did you just underline? This was previously underlined. I was going to write something, but I didn't. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, so you don't get anything on that one. Uh, I, at the end of the show, can I just read what you've written and, and let people <laughs> guess where, where it applies? Okay. Okay, sure. all right, thanks. Go They're ahead. my notes. Um, turtlenecks are not a bad fashion. Here's what I don't like, right? You, as a wrestler, you sure. are so, uh, excuse me, you as a, a wrestling fan, not you, but right. generalized. People are so accustomed to wrestlers actually being uh, in basketball shorts. Being in wrestling shirts and things like that. And then I come along and mm -hmm. I change the whole game. Turtlenecks, dress pants, open back shoes. These are somewhat of a problem to people and I don't know why. The Rock wasn't the only one that wore turtlenecks in a chain, guys. Mm -hmm. You only know of it because you've seen a picture. If you, if you brought in your horizon and open a Pinterest, you would see that turtlenecks, even the mock turtlenecks that don't even come up that far, there are absolute great selections that you can wear for the fall and winter, and you can look like you are actually a decent human being. But most people don't really get that, and that is okay. That's a high five? No, no, no. No, you well, I'll give you a high five. I'm, I'm, I'm raising my hand to ask you a question. Yes, sir. You said broaden your horizons, open Pinterest. Yeah. Pinterest important to you? It's actually very helpful. 
Pinterest is actually one of the most important things that I have found in my life. And it's so important to me that other people come up to me just now trying to ask me about Pinterest. Right. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. She heard it and she's trying to ask me. <laughs> you said Pinterest and women just showed up. Yeah. Just, That's how you get them. So Pinterest and Target. That's what they Pinterest love. Pinterest and Target? They love, love Pinterest I'm and Target. I'm not allowed in Target. Uh, but Pinterest, so one time, one, one night, I sat down on our computer at home and my wife had been on Pinterest. And I sat there, and it, I can't believe women look at this. I, it was the worst four and a half hours of my life staring at that thing. Why? It, it's just, it's all that, bro, it's Instagram for inspiration. That's it. Really? Yes. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's what you said. All right. Well, we got to wrap you up because I, Why? I was only given 30 minutes of you. Who? Who said that? They said I can only have 30 minutes of Ricky Starks. I don't have shit else to do. Really? You want to go, go to the zoo or something? You want to hang out? Let's go get some ice cream. I'm not eating ice cream in 40 degree weather. That's, that makes no sense. You're right. You're right. Frozen yogurt? Uh, man, 20, pretty, pretty 2021 good. was a year of some challenge for you. You still came through it as the FTW champion, but you went through the injury. Yeah. Um, Thank God. But if you're telling me that you know, you're, you're now you're going to unleash yourself in the Diamond Battle Royal, that's what you said earlier, right? Uh, the Diamond Ring. Um, I assume you're poised for a huge 2022, right? I have always been poised. See, so I'm not one of those people that say, oh, 2022 is my year. I never said 2021 is my year. Every year is my year that I'm alive. And next year will be no different. So I suspect, because I'm in control of my own fate here, that I'm actually going to rise to the top. And I'm actually be bigger than wrestling itself. Than wrestling itself? Yeah. Well, that's another rock comparison. You keep comparing yourself to The Rock without comparing yourself to The Rock. You, you Batista did it. No, you keep doing the, it. Batista did it. Austin did it. These guys actually went out and did mm, things. But who did it the most? What do you mean who did who it the did most? Who did it the most? Who did it the most? Hogan. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, Hogan was a big crossover star. I lived through that. You're talking about Mr. Nanny and Suburban Commando. We're talking right? about Rocky. Rocky three, And he was just a bit player. Thunderlips? Thunderlips was a big deal. Who do you get compared a lot to? Hulk Hogan, but that's for different reasons. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm from Mississippi. Um, do you get the joke I'm making about yeah. Hulk Hogan? You got it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, your pen out of ink? Yeah, sorry. Here, here you Thank go. you. There you go. Let me uh, we got a lot of pens. That one work? Yeah. All right. Well, that one doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, a little, ba little bashful. You think? Yeah. yeah you 2022 might be a big year for me. Why? Fuck, I don't know. I'll tell you why <laughs> it's going to actually... 2022 is going to be a big year for you because this show yeah. is actually going to blow up. Gonna We're going to Spotify. Numbies? We're getting on Spotify. Yeah. We're getting monetized on YouTube. Yes. Oh. We're going to be on... I need to be monetized. We're going to be on Vice. What? Vice? No, I don't think... We're going to be on OWN. Yeah, Vice doesn't like Barstool. Uh, OWN Network. The Oprah Winfrey Network? Yeah. She's from Mississippi, you know. There it is. She was born in Kosciuszko. It's in crippling poverty. It's a bad town. Yeah. They got a great Most place. of Mississippi is a bad town. Did you enjoy your time here today? Loved it. Can I read your list? All right. Just read it. Read it in a very... Uh, notes. Underlined. Interesting. Artist. Artist. That was yeah. the first note? Yeah. Oh, because of that, that, the stool I drew. Yeah. Uh, cool name, Brandon Walker. Not a cool name Effin. at all. It's the most white person name. Funny guy. Thank you very much. Uh, smart, underlined. And then it turned at some point. Asshole, underlined, twice. And shy. What was shy? You were just a little shy there. I, I appreciate your self-deprecating humor. Yeah. Uh, that tells me a lot about the insecurities you have that you've overcame and still working on. Um, the funny guy is actually your your ability to make these small quips and jokes that actually register and hit. I do think you're smart beyond all that. I think you probably invest a lot in stocks and crypto. Uh, while you may think your name is pretty bland and boring, I actually find it to be fascinating. Brandon F. Walker, you're in the likes of Wheezy F. Baby, Lil Wayne from New Orleans. Um, the asshole comment probably came from... It was the Roman Reigns thing when I asked about arresting him. That's when you wrote it. 
see, that's why you're smart because you know where you fall in that. I didn't have to answer that. And then, like I said, the shy, you're a little shy. I can see that. Last question, I'll let you go. Can I keep this? If you, so let's make a trade, right? You live in, where do you live at right now? New Jersey. It sucks. I ain't making a fucking trade with you. Yeah, I'm you keeping this. Yeah. Yeah. I was going right. to have something else. This but that's... is one of the breakout stars of AEW. This is the FTW world champion. This is absolute Ricky Starks. And ladies and gentlemen, this was wrestling.